What's up, Sports Talk Buffalo fans? It's your host, Drew, and today I'm very excited as we are headed to the UB football game as our Bulls take on the Liberty Flames and attempt to not go 0-3 for the second straight year. So as soon as my buddy Mark gets here, we'll be on our way. There he is. It's if a you, David Blaine shit. <laughs> all right. If you guys are ready, let's fucking go. All right, we are here at the UB game. Walking on in, Mark. How do you expect this game to go, bud? Hopefully better than last week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Sports Talk Buffalo. Hi. Sports Talk Buffalo. Okay, got you. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Fans. Oh, look at that. Yeah. We've we created fans. We've gained a subscriber. <laughs> Woo! Um, how, how did UB stop Liberty in this game? Like they're two and zero coming into this game. Yeah. Buffalo has never beaten Liberty since they joined the FBS. So, what are the keys to winning this game? For me, they gotta contain the quarterback. They have to control the run game. Really, like they're gonna have to use their run game to control it, but they're also gonna have to contain the Liberty run game. It's a very similar offense because you got. The same head coach from the Chanticleers the last couple of years coming over to Liberty, and he's running the same kind of offense. So that should should be a little bit of an advantage for these guys. They've seen this. They know what to expect. But what I saw last week, it's going to be really tough because there's a big gaping hole in the middle of the UB defense, and anybody and everybody's been running on them. So your yeah. guess is as good as mine how, how that's going to go today. Yeah, it's not looking great that UB doesn't start 0-3 for the second straight year in a row. Last year, they were able to dig themselves out, get to a bowl game, win the bowl game. However, you never want to start 0-3 in any season. Every game matters, and Buffalo is just able to sneak into that bowl game. Hopefully, we pulled the upset today and we're able to take down the Liberty Flames. All right, that's the end of the first quarter, and pretty much as expected. What do you think they need to improve on as the game goes forward to get themselves back in this game? Everything. Short, sweet, and to the point. Everything. Let's go, boys! And on the field, it's not 
not helped them. Yeah. They have not sustained a drive all game. Get him. Look, he's open right there. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. All right, that's the end of the first half. You've been trailing 14 to 24. Mark, what things do we need to see in the second half in order for the Bulls to continue to build on that end of the first half run? More Nick McMillan. That offense was atrocious through a majority of that first half. The offense just has to be better. They they, they have to. And it's a good thing they're coming out with the ball to right. start that. The half. offense was putrid to start the entire game. They were able to pull within 10 points. Hopefully the offense can keep their momentum moving forward. Again, you be down 24-14, heading into the second half. However, they do get the ball to start the second half. Here we go. Go Bulls. Right. Left side, fade route. No! Oh! Well, that's going to do it here from UB Stadium. Once again, the Bulls get their shit pushed in, and we have now started the hashtag Moe's got to go because Coach Mo has shown time and again that he ain't it. If you're Mark, what can they do to fix this team, even though we know that Moe's going to be there next year? There's, there's very little, it seems like, they'll be able to do to fix this team right now. So, so far, they've allowed over 130 points in this three-game stretch. They've given up over 1,500 yards, meaning they're averaging at least, would you say, 40-something points a game? 44 points a game, they're averaging. And over 500 yards to each team. That's what they're averaging over the first three games. Which includes an F. CS team. Yes, and we have a defensive-minded coach. We have a, a coach. Go figure. A, Who would have known? I don't know. I don't know. We have a a offense that was described as explosive to start the season. I don't know if you're looking at the stats or whatever. Five yards of fucking play is not explosive in any way, shape, or form. No. This is brutal. This is bad to watch. And I almost want a refund for these season tickets because this is, it's not even competitive. Like, Listen, it would be, I would be happy if it was we, competitive. This is fucking puke. At the end of the game, we were actively rooting for Liberty to score 60 I points. 60. I told I told Andrew, I'm, I'm hoping to get as much evidence on tape as humanly possible just just so you can you could put together a solid case of why coach mo has got to go <laughs> why mo's got to go he's not put together a good staff he's a great recruiter yeah. supposedly on paper but it's it's what what good is recruiting it if, doesn't do anything if you, you don't do anything with the talent if you don't know how to put together a team it's one thing to get high rated recruits solid talent it's another thing to be able to put the right guys in the right place as a team and put them out on the field and get the kind of production you should be getting. The, the Listen, the play calling is baffling. The personnel usage is... Atrocious. Yeah, like, again, I feel like we're stuck in a time loop because these are all the same things we complained about with Shane Montgomery when he was here. And I am starting to believe it may have not been Shane Montgomery and a little, bo little bit more of Coach Mo. I don't know what's happening. This is, like, last year was last year. You, you let things and go, but like the, the, this year you're starting 0-3 in an even worse way than you did before. Like if you're looking to for any of us to have any kind of hope for this team going forward, not much. there's not much there. There's very little there. There's very little in the tank. They're going to get eaten alive by the Mac, okay, once that bad starts up. And to be quite honest with you, <laughs> to be quite honest with you, I'm just... I hope they do. I almost hope I, they go like an over. Like they're season. already. So that we know a thousand percent next year we can just start over without this coaching staff because it's not. Listen, good. they're already known for falling apart uh, once once November hits. Uh, so if they're if they're known yeah. to fall apart when November hits and they're already looking like this, what the hell are the next couple months going to look know. like? It's going to be. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be a really tough watch. I'm going to have to drag myself here. Yeah. 
on those cold, cold days. I'm gonna have yeah. to find something to cheer about. Even but, even worse, what do he do? He stalled the game. Yeah, he stalled, <laughs> stalled the, the game. Time out, you're down. down points with two you're, minutes yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Just yeah. end the game. Yeah, just listen. Let the game end. Lick your wounds. Like you're stretching it out for what? What what point are you trying to make? What what are you saying to your team? The, you, listen, the writing's on the wall. Nothing big is gonna happen in the last few minutes when you're down 20 plus points. And it's like, what brutal. do you? You're 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 putting them out there, and what? You're gonna risk injury to the, your players? Uh -huh. For what? I don't know. It's, it's it it it's baffles brutal. me. It absolutely baffles me. And I I don't even I usually listen to the the post game press conferences. Wow. I don't want to listen to the same garbage he's been spewing out. I don't want to hear, he's, we're going to look back at the tape. We're going to hold ourselves accountable. Listen, the only person that needs to be held salesman. accountable is Coach Mo right now. He, he needs to be held accountable. Hey, for any Buffalo fans, you know this name. He is the UB's version of Ralph Krueger, a fucking snake oil salesman who sold himself to be something he's not, and that is a good coach. That's going to do it for this episode of Sports Talk Buffalo, guys. Thanks for dragging yourselves along on our journey today. Ooh. <laughs>